Hey everyone, this is Colton Locke, aka Funtivity Colton, here with another Single Tracks gear review. We are here in the mountain bike capital of the USA, Winter Park, Colorado, hitting up the groomed fat bike trails on the new Rocky Mountain Suzy Q. Let's go check it out. This is the brand new for 2017 Rocky Mountain Suzy Q. Rocky Mountain designed this to be a bit of a more fun, agile bike rather than a bike with big tires designed for maximum flotation. This model specifically is the Negative 50. It's made of Rocky Mountain's hydroformed alloy and has a carbon fork and runs at $2,499. You're looking at an entry level model at right about 19. And for the high-end models, you're looking at right about $4,300 for a full carbon frame and fork. The Suzy Q comes with a smooth wall C13 carbon fork. But if you're looking for suspension, you can toss a Bluto on here and still maintain factory geometry. The Negative 50 is outfitted with Shimano SLX brakes as well as XT derailers and shifters. And the rear has Shimano's 11 to 46 tooth cassette which is nice because on some of those big, long slog climbs through the snow, that big gear ratio is super helpful. The Suzy Q is rolling on 27.5 by 3.8 inch Maxxis Minion FBFs. It's a really nice, really fast rolling tire. The tires are mounted on Sun Ringlay rims that are tubeless ready, and I really highly recommend you do that. On this rig, I've got it set up tubeless, and I saved over a pound on that conversion just because these fat bike tubes are so big. The Suzy Q does not come with a dropper post, but you can easily toss one on there. It does have internal cable routing, so you can mount a stealth dropper like the RockShock Reaver. Rocky Mountain designed this bike with shorter chain stays at 434 millimeters. It's got a bit of an extended top tube to give you an extended reach, a little bit more of an aggressive position, which feels really good. And it's designed with a narrower Q factor, which is roughly 44 millimeters narrower than the industry standard, which makes for a really comfortable feel when you're pedaling this rig. So many fat bikes on the market are just slow, sluggish, and tough to maneuver in the corners. But that is not the case for the Suzy Q. This bike is fast, it's quick, it's agile. I've had a blast riding it, and this is definitely a bike that is race oriented. And if you get set up with a negative 90 RSL, you have got an extremely race ready rig. It's got Shimano XTR bits and is a full carbon frame weighing in at right about 23.5 pounds. This bike felt extremely efficient to me. It felt great getting out of the saddle for sprints and climbs. The 3.8 tires gave me a lot of traction and I felt really confident on them, but a little bit less rolling resistance, so this bike just cruises. It's perfect for places like this. Groomed trails, snowy dirt roads, single track in the summer, or any race event, this is the bike you're gonna wanna be on. The 3.8 Minions felt really good. They gave me a lot of traction. I felt confident in the corners. They were really fast. Of course, they don't give you as much flotation as some of those bigger tires do, but that just kind of depends on what you're looking for. This specifically can handle up to a 4.2 tire, so it kind of depends on what you want to do. If you're looking to be a little bit more race ready, groomed trail kind of a rider, then these tires are perfect. If you want to get a little bit more float, throw the 4.2s on there and you'll cruise through that powder just fine. I felt extremely comfortable on the Suzy Q. I typically prefer a little bit more of an aggressive, extended position on my bike, so I was right at home on this rig. But if you don't like that ride style, I think you'll still find the Suzy Q is extremely comfortable. The narrower Q factor makes it a dream to pedal, and if you don't like that extended feel, that's an easy fix. Just throw a different stem on there, maybe a different set of handlebars, and you'll feel great. So thanks for hanging out and checking out the Rocky Mountain Suzy Q with us today. Be sure to head over to singletracks.com for a whole bunch more great content. Follow me on Instagram and Strava at Colton. 
If you haven't already, click this link right up here to subscribe because we have a whole bunch more videos headed your way, a couple more fat bikes in the near future. And if you notice these orange pedals, the HTT1, they are an awesome set of pedals. I'll link that video right down here for you. Click that if you haven't seen it yet. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll catch you on the trail.